If you have connection issues with your Joy-Cons on your Switch, first off, try restarting your Switch. As trivial as it sounds, surprisingly, many problems are solved by just restarting the device. If that didn't work, go to Settings, Controllers, Disconnect, and hold the X button. Then unslot the controllers. And then slot them back in and see if that worked. If even that didn't work, then go again to settings, controllers, disconnect, hold down the X button, unslot the controllers, then go to controllers, change grip, and hold down the button in the middle of the controller. This is going to recalibrate the Joy-Cons. After doing this for both, you can slide the controllers back in. If even that didn't work, go back to controllers and sensors and press on update controllers. That way you can see if your controllers are up to date. And if not, maybe the update will solve the issue. If even that didn't work, go back to settings, controllers, disconnect, hold the X button controllers, grip, then hold down the button in the middle of the controllers for both of them, and then hold down ALL and R together. They should appear on screen. Then slot the controllers back in, then put the switch on sleep and dock it, and leave it to charge for a few hours, and see if that solved your issue. Also, if you are a person that holds the switch with one hand, don't do that, you might have bent the slot. You can fix that with duct tape, for example you can put duct tape here, or you can put some insulating tape here, or you can use a piece of paper to slide the controller in the slot so that it creates some tension and the controller is tighter. But use this method only if you notice that it doesn't slide all the way in, or that your controller or your switch rails on the side are bent. If they aren't, and the solutions until now didn't work, maybe the Joy-Cons or the switch are dirty. To make sure if it's a problem with the Joy-Cons or the switch, try to connect the Joy-Cons into a controller. If they don't work even with a controller, then the Joy-Cons are at fault. But if they do, maybe the switch is faulty. Either way, you can clean the contacts on both Joy-Cons and your Switch with a can of compressed air or and some WD-40 contact cleaner, but we'll get to that later. First off, the compressed air. Turn off your Switch and then spray some air on this sides of the controller and on the slots on the Switch. Remember that you have to do short bursts, do not long press on the Switch, you might damage it that way. After everything is dry, turn on your switch again and slot the controllers back and see if they work. If they don't, then you can try with some WD-40 contact cleaner. But warning, spray WD-40 contact cleaner, not regular WD-40. I will leave a link with the product I am using right now, but it's not that hard, I mean it's WD-40 contact cleaner, just make sure that it's contact cleaner, not WD-40 regular. But make sure to not confuse them. Anyway, with the WD-40 contact cleaner, spray some on the pins located here. Then let it dry for a while. Then do the same for the side of the Joy-Con. And let everything dry for a while. After that, insert the Joy-Cons back and see if it solved your issue. But if compressed air didn't do the trick and you don't want to use contact cleaner, you can also use isopropylic alcohol. Get some cardboard, a Q-tip or a toothbrush and with alcohol slide it across these grooves on the Joy-Con and on the Switch. I hope this video helped. It's not an exhaustive list of all the solutions there are, but I tried to help as much as I could. So I hope that at least one of these solutions are helping you.